Alright y'all, here's my prediction for the May 30th fight card. Alright, let's start by by looking at the skill sets of Tyron Woodley and Gilbert Burns. For Woodley, you know, his base is wrestling. Um, he's an explosive powerful guy so he he definitely has knockout power and we've seen that in a lot of his fights um earlier in, like before he became champion he was he did he did you he was more a little aggressive here and there like he did utilize aggression a little bit more. Not a lot. Not, not like a a ton more than than when he was on his title run. But uh, he did definitely use it a little bit. But at the same time, <clears throat> his thing was he tried to pace it. He tried to pace it and use that explosion and when he knew he was going to get something, whether it was a landing that right hand or a takedown or leg kicks that he used to use a lot. Very powerful leg kicks he is. Uh, but as we know, once he, once he became champion, he started backing up a lot more and tried to f develop a whole um, er, he tried to utilize that more and rely on the backing up giving his opponents the the only option to be the forward to be the forward moving fighter to be the first to uh, start the to be the first one to uh, to attack, and he'd rely on his reactions and uh, counter with the right hand, and that always made him dangerous. Either way, fighting Woodley is a dangerous fight. That's what got him. In trouble with uh, Usman, who had the wrestling pedigree to utilize against him, to give him a hard time, and especially with Woodley always going for a right hook counter. I mean, there was no left hand to to trap his opponents into the right hand or anything. Now Gilbert Burns very well known for his uh his jiu-jitsu i think he has more finishes by a submission than anything but he still has power too he has a few unique takedowns burns because with him it you know he's also an explosive dude uh strong Especially in the clinch, both these guys are. I think Woodley will be stronger, especially especially because of his wrestling background. So it'll be harder for Burns to take him down. Burns talked about that he wanted to go forward on Woodley and put that pressure on him because that there is, you know, you're going to use more energy being the guy moving back. Really. No one puts the only guy that put that kind of pressure on him was Usman, who constantly made Woodley work. So you had to make him work either, you know, use a lot from a striking standpoint, use a lot of fakes, bait that right hand out, and you set up your shots. Um, I don't, I don't see Burns doing that. Or at least not to the extent that he needs to. 
Uh, I got Woodley at the end of the day. I think Woodley will end up catching Burns and uh, dropping him. I don't think Burns would be able to to take Woodley down. And if if he can, I think Woodley. I I think it's Woodley pops right back up. I think he's a stronger guy, and I think he's more. It would just be hard for him to keep a hold of him. Uh, I'm gonna go with a. I'm gonna go with a first round TKO for Woodley. That's my prediction for uh, the May 30th fight card. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And uh, dang, UFC 250 is on the way, isn't it? I hope they get that finalized. I'd really love to see that 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 uh at least the main event for sure. And uh yeah, that's it. We'll see you around.